Hello, I'm Tim Connie, president of DeMail Engineering in Rochester, Minnesota. Thank you for selecting the DeMail DE2503 video microscope. At DeMail Engineering, we offer an extensive variety of adapters, including popular connectors such as MT, SC, LC, and SMA. And we also support less common designs like OptiTip, MiniMT, Biconic, and FC. Let our team know your adapter needs, and we will provide you with a solution. The following video will take you step by step through the simple process of unpacking, setup, and operation of your DE2503 video microscope. Thank you for choosing DeMail products. Step 1. Overview. The DE2503 video microscope is designed for visual end face inspection of fiber optic connectors in a production environment. The DE2503, our most popular model, is equipped with a four position linear slide that can be loaded with four different connector adapters. Step 2. Initial Setup Setting up the scope is easy and takes 10 to 15 minutes. First, remove all items from the box and the protective plastic bag. Contents will include a microscope, a power cord, a 24 volt power adapter, a BNC cable, an adjustment knob for adapter slide with hex wrench, along with a user guide and instructions. Optional monitor and adapters may be purchased separately. The user guide can also be found on our website. If you need assistance, please contact technical support at Domail Engineering. All unpacked? Great! Setup can be achieved through a few simple connections. There are three main components to the microscope system. The microscope, adjustment knob, and the power adapter and cords. Monitor and adapters are available for purchase separately. To prevent damage during shipping, the adjustment knob for the linear slide has been removed. To install the knob, follow these steps. Slide washer on. Slide knob over shaft. Tighten the two set screws with the hex wrench provided. Once the adjustment knob has been installed, plug the CCD power cord into the back of the camera. Next, plug in the BNC to the back of the camera, then into the monitor you are using to view the microscope image. Then, plug the power cable into the back of the LED controller. Now, plug in both cord ends into a 120 volt outlet. Once all electrical connections have been made, you are ready to begin finding an image on a fiber connector. Step 3. Finding an image. Turn the objective turret so that the 5x objective, indicated by a red line on objective lens, is at the 6 o'clock bottom position. Place a fiber connector in the appropriate adapter. Unlock the Velmex slide and move the adapter position so it is in line with the objective and relock the Velmex slide. Power the microscope on using the LED intensity knob with the blue line located on the LED controller. It will click on and you should turn it about a quarter to halfway so enough light intensity is available. Once the power is on, a blue light beam or dot should appear on the back side of the adapter body. Use the adjustment knobs to position the connector horizontally so the beam is centered on the fiber. If vertical adjustment is required, use the adjustment knob on top of the adapters. Now you are ready to try and focus the image on the camera. Step 4. Focusing and Lighting The focus adjustment knob on the DE2503 is located in front of the stage. After the beam has been positioned, turn the focus knob to adjust the focus of the image with precision and control. 
Once focused, center the image on the monitor as desired. The illumination can be controlled using the intensity control knob located on the ME12013 LED controller. This allows the operator to control the brightness of the image. Step 5. Centering the illumination. All scopes are set up from the factory, but replacing lamps or periodic cleaning of the beam splitter may require the operator to recenter the illumination. Centering the illumination of the DE2503 is critical in order to maximize performance of the microscope. To readjust the illumination position, do the following. Using a 3 30 seconds hex wrench, loosen the four socket head screws holding the light block. While viewing a fiber on the monitor, slide the light block around until the greatest amount of light is centered over the fiber. Retighten the four screws. Incorrect illumination. Notice how the light is towards the top of the screen? Correct illumination. Notice how the light surrounds the fiber. Light scratches can now be easily detected. Step 6. Changing magnifications. The DE2503 is equipped with three objective lenses, 5X, 10X, and 20X, mounted to the microscope four-hole turret. This allows the operator to quickly change magnifications when inspecting connectors. Optional 3.3X and 40X objectives are available. Once the image is set up, centered and in focus using the 5x objective. Turn the turret to the 10x position and repeat the focusing procedure. Once in focus, center the fiber using the adjustment knobs on the adapter and linear adapter slide. Repeat again if you desire to view the fiber at other magnifications. Step 7. Preventive maintenance. Harsh solvents are not recommended. Typical safe degreaser solvents can be used to clean old grease or grime from mechanical parts. A lens cleaner is safe to use on the optics of our microscopes. Lens cleaner can be used with a soft lens tissue, cloth, to remove any soil, fingerprints, etc. from the front of the objectives. Important! If equipment is used in a manner not specified by the manufacturer, the performance of the equipment may be negatively affected. There is no serviceable equipment inside the ME12013 LED controller or camera. In the event of malfunction or when other maintenance is required beyond the steps documented in the manual, service must be done by a qualified Domail engineering technician. Evidence of tampering will void warranty. This and many other Domail products and training videos can be found at our website at www.domailengineering.com or under the Domail YouTube channel. Please contact us at 507-281-0275 or info at domailengineering.com. Domail Engineering. Technology for tomorrow.